welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new die Tiny Gift Box Raccoon and Fox add-on. This add-on goes with our Tiny Gift Box die and it's in addition to our family that we already have a bunny, a deer, and a bat and now we have a die that makes both a fox and a raccoon. So now it's time to make a fox with this die set. And I've gone ahead and die cut the tiny gift box die out of some canned pumpkin cardstock. And we're gonna fold along all of the score lines that the die created for us on this box. Then we can add some adhesive to those tabs. So I'm using some quarter inch score tape, which is some nice strong tape, and I'm gonna add that to the two tabs on the left and right side of the box. Then we can go ahead and peel up that liner paper and start to form our box. I'm gonna take that tab and just line up those corners just like that and the box forms super easy and it's so cute and tiny. So now it's time to look at the die pieces in the raccoon and fox set. And first we're gonna work on making the fox. So I'm using a bunch of the pieces from the set that help you make him. And then later on we're gonna make the raccoon. And I love that you can mix and match the same pieces from the set to create two different animals. So right now we're gonna add some glue to the back of the eye piece and you'll see that the die creates that smaller piece that you layer behind to color in the eyes. So I love that that does it for you. It makes it nice and quick and easy. There are two different styles of nose. We're gonna use the nose that has the mouth attached for this fox, but you could use either one of them. So you can once again kind of mix and match everything. And then we can go ahead and take this whole eye piece and layer that onto the face piece that has those ears. And those ears are just so cute. Then next up, we're gonna add a little belly to the fox. And this has been cut from some vanilla malt cardstock. And so we're gonna layer that right on there. And I love once you add that belly on there, it really kind of finishes it off and makes it look so super cute. We're also gonna add the top of the fox tail right on there to add that cute little finishing touch. This set also has this really adorable bow tie that you can create. So it's got that little piece that sticks out and all you have to do is just wrap that around your bow. And then once you've wrapped that all the way around, you can just add a little dab of glue to the end and then attach it to the back. So we're gonna add that little dab of glue there and fold it over and then hold it in place with our tweezers so that it can dry in place there and it kind of holds the whole thing together. As we let that little bow tie dry, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding everything onto the box. I'm gonna add some liquid glue directly onto the box and we're gonna start off adding the feet. There are two different styles of feet in the set, standing and sitting, and in this case, we're gonna create a standing fox, but you can make a sitting fox as well. We're gonna be making a sitting raccoon in a second. And so we're gonna add those feet to either side of the box. And I love the little detail of the claws on the feet. It's just so cute. And then we can go ahead and add the face to the front. So I've added once again a little liquid glue to the front and we're just gonna layer that face right on. And you can add the tail in different positions, so kind of standing straight up in the back or off to the side. And in this case, I thought it would look really cute off to the side. So we're gonna add a little dab of glue there and then just attach that to the back of the box, just like that. And then last but not least, we can give him his cute little bow tie. And I love cutting this bow tie out of pattern paper as well. It's so adorable and adds just a really cute little touch and you can kind of coordinate it to maybe the card you're giving or the party that you might be throwing that you're gonna add these little guys around. Now that our cute little fox is done, we're gonna go ahead and work on the raccoon. So here I have some narwhal cardstock and we're gonna form the box exactly like we did before. We've got some adhesive on those tabs and we're just gonna attach those all the way around. And now we can work with a lot of the same pieces and some new pieces from the die set to create our raccoon. So first up, we're gonna work on doing his paws. So you'll see there that there's a little die there that helps you cut paws from the front of the raccoon. And you can actually cut them in two different directions and I'll be showing you guys that in a second. So I'm gonna hold those paws in there with some low tack tape, run it through my die cut machine, and then how cute are those little paws? And the best part about them is that they can hold things. So we're gonna add that little heart to them in a second. So here we've got that little raccoon mask I've cut from black licorice cardstock, and then we have a backing piece that the die cuts as well that makes it super easy to add some color to the raccoon's eyes. And then we can take the whole thing and layer that right on top of his face. This time we're gonna be using the plain nose, but you could use the nose with the little smile on it as well. Just depends on what look you're going for. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and add that heart to his paws. So you'll see that the paws flip up, the die kinda cuts a little slot there for the paws, and you can actually attach things in there and have him hold it. So the die set has a little heart, but you can either take other dies that you may have in your stash, like a little star or something else, and have him hold it as well. So the raccoon tail has two pieces that go over top. We've got the little tip of the tail, and then we have the stripe to add on as well. And so I really like the mix of the narwhal cardstock with the black licorice cardstock. It gives a really cute little raccoon tail look. And so now we can attach the pieces to the box again. So we're gonna add some liquid glue and we're gonna attach the face to the box. And now we're gonna use the sitting legs. So we're gonna take that sitting leg, add some glue and add those to either side of the box as well. So it's really cute because you've got the sitting legs and then you've got his little paws in the front holding something and it's just adorable. And I love that you can mix and match. You can create sitting foxes with paws or standing foxes and you can have sitting raccoons or standing raccoons. In this case, I'm gonna attach the raccoon tail kind of pointing straight up out of the center. And you can see that that's a totally different look and super, super cute. And here they are, they are so super cute. Oh my goodness, I can't get over how adorable these are. And then here I wanted to show you a bunch of different versions of these guys. So we've got the sitting foxes, standing foxes, all these different styles of them and they are just so adorable. I love the idea of doing like a little party with these or even just decorating them with all your little woodland creatures. And since we already have other add-ons for this die, we've got the bat and the bunny and the deer and I love seeing these all together. And yes, don't worry, we'll come out with even more critters in the future and they're just so adorable and I just think it's a cute way to maybe present a little gift certificate inside some little treats or just a way to make someone smile and just put it on their desk and just make their day so Kay created these really fun fox and raccoon in these really adorable, non-traditional colors, and I thought it was just the cutest thing ever. So I wanted to recreate them. And so they've been cut here from some guava cardstock and ballet slippers cardstock. And we've got some rosy cheeks there. We're gonna make them a little bit darker there with a marker, and then we can attach those onto the fox's face. So you'll see just how cute it is when you add those little rosy cheeks. And then we can go ahead and add the little decorative element to the fox's tail as well. And I love just how cute this looks. This is super cute for Valentine's too with all of the pinks. And so there you can see we're gonna add the little fox's face on top and we'll also add his little belly as well. And then we can start to layer all of the pieces onto the box just like we've done before. So we can layer the face on there. And in this case, we're gonna be making a standing fox. So we're gonna layer the standing legs on either side and then we can take that tail and layer that right Right onto the box as well and I feel like the tail is what really makes these boxes like over the top cute because it's just so adorable to see the little tail sticking out from it. So next up, I wanted to show you the two different ways that you can do the paws. So in this case, we put the die in that direction. And on this case, we're gonna flip the die the other way around. And it just creates this paws pointing in a different direction. So we'll hold that in place with some tape, run it through the die cut machine, and now you can see the difference in the paws. So I think it's really cute that you can kind of mix and match depending on what look you would like. And we're gonna go ahead and take a little heart and have him hold the heart again. I just can't get over how cute that is, it's just adorable. So we'll layer that heart right on there and then we can start to layer all of our other pieces. And this is a mix of sugar plum cardstock and moonstone cardstock, some guava and black licorice. So we're gonna layer that little mask on there and then add the little nose with the smile. And I like tucking the nose underneath a little bit. I think it's a really cute look. We're also gonna add these sitting legs to either side of the box. And then we've got that cute little raccoon tail there that we're gonna add to the top of the box as well. So it's gonna be top kind of sticking up straight, but off to the side. So I love mixing and matching. It. I just think it's adorable and then look how cute he is oh my goodness I know I keep saying adorable and cute but these are just they make me smile every time I look at them so here you can see the ones in the really really fun colors they are just so much fun to make and then here is a look at all of the different foxes and raccoons that we created. So you can see how you can do more traditional colors or get a little crazy with them and even mixing and matching the two I think looks like so much fun so next up, we're gonna be creating a card by Megan, and she used these little add-ons, but on a card front, and it's the cutest idea. So first up, we're gonna start off by creating a bunch of our faces, and we're gonna be mixing and matching the fox and the raccoon with the bunny and the deer. And I love mixing and matching these together because it's really that fun kind of woodland feel that it has together. So we're gonna work on adding the little color behind the eyes. We've added some paws on there as well. We can layer on some little pink noses and just 
mix and match different colors, different styles of noses, and play around with them to get some really cute looks. We're going to add on some rosy cheeks to all of these little characters just for some added cuteness. And then we can go ahead and create a little carrot there out of some green and orange cardstock to layer in the bunny's paws, which is such a cute look. Now to create the top of the tree, we're going to be using the puffy cloud borders and we're going to die cut that from some noble fir cardstock. We've also cut a strip of wood grain cardstock that's going to be our tree trunk and we're going to use an outside in stitch circle to create some openings in the tree that these little characters are going to peek through. So we're going to layer this circle on the card four different times to create these four different little window openings. We're also going to take some cilantro cardstock and die cut that with the grassy border so that we can layer that along the bottom. And you'll see that that's going to give the look of this tree. So we've got the tree top and then we're going to have that grassy border all along the bottom. Next up, we're going to take that tree trunk that we created, add some adhesive to the back of it and layer that onto some ground coffee cardstock. And that's going to kind of fill in these little holes there that the critters are going to peek out of. And then we can add some liquid glue behind each of these faces and tuck them into the circles. And oh my goodness, this is the cutest thing ever. Like look at that little raccoon peeking out. It's so adorable. Now to fill in their little ears, we went ahead and die cut another head piece out of some ballet slipper cardstocks, and we're going to use the little ear piece that kind of pops out and fill those in. So that's going to add some color to the ears, and I think it really gives it a nice finishing touch there. So then we can continue on with the rest of our characters. So we're going to add that cute little deer in there. And we're also going to fill in his ears. Once again, we cut his head out of some ballet slipper cardstocks, and we're going to take the little ear insert piece and add that into him. We'll add our bunny on there too. And we'll repeat the same idea with that ballet slippers cardstock so that we can fill in his ears. Then last but not least, we're going to add our cute little fox onto the card and repeat the same thing with the inside of his ears. Next up, it's time to take that whole tree trunk and add that onto a mermaid card base. And so the little blue on either side is going to be the sky, which is super cute. And then we'll add some foam squares onto the tree topper piece and also to the grass for the bottom. Then to add our sentiment, we're going to use the brand new Sending Hugs line border. And this has been cut from some guava cardstock, and we're just going to layer that right onto the bottom of the card. We can add the little dot for the eye. And then we'll go ahead and trim off any of the excess of that line border. And then that's going to give the card a nice finished look. And oh my goodness, it's just so cute. I can't wait to make a bunch of these because I really think this would make someone smile. And I love the idea of using something that was meant to create something three-dimensional and using it on a card front. It's just so much fun. So next up, we have some amazing samples from the design team using this die set. And first up, we have those cute, colorful Fox and Raccoon by Kay. I just love them so much. And these are the ones that inspired us to make ours today. Then next up, we have Adorable Foxes and Raccoons by Melissa, and I love that she used the sparkle cardstock to create their faces. It makes them super glamorous and really cute. Here is the card by Megan that inspired us to make ours today. How cute is this? Because she added an even extra touch. And when you open it up on the inside, you can see their bums. And oh my goodness, it might be the cutest thing ever. These little guys by Elise are so sweet. I love how she filled the ears in with the pink cardstock and how they're all holding hearts. And then I love how Lynette added googly eyes onto her raccoon and used him on a card front. It's the cutest thing. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this die set, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.